The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighters. The fifth-generation combat aircraft is designed to perform ground attack and air superiority missions. It has three main models, the F-35 a conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, variant, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing, stuff low, variant, and the F-35C carrier-based catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, Catobar, variant. On July 31, 2015, the United States Marines declared ready for deployment the first squadron of F-35B fighters after intensive testing. On August 2, 2016, the U.S. Air Force declared its first squadron of F-35A fighters combat ready. The F-35 descends from the X-35, the winning design of the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF, program. An aerospace industry team led by Lockheed Martin designed and manufactures it. Other major F-35 industry partners include Northrop Grumman, Pratt & Whitney and B Systems. The F-35 first flew on December 15, 2006. The United States plans to buy 2,663 aircraft. Its variants are to provide the bulk of the crewed tactical air power of the U.S. Air Force, Navy and the Marine Corps over the coming decades. Deliveries of the F-35 for the U.S. military are scheduled until 2037 with a projected service life up to 2070. The United States principally funds the F-35 JSF development, with additional funding from partners. The partner nations are either NATO members or close U.S. allies. The United Kingdom, Italy, Australia, Canada, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands and Turkey are part of the active development program. Several additional countries have ordered, or are considering ordering, the F-35. The program is the most expensive military weapons system in history, and has been much criticized inside and outside government, in the US and in allied countries. Critics argue that the plane is plagued with design flaws, with many blaming the procurement process in which Lockheed was allowed to design, test, and produce the F-35 all at the same time, instead of defects before firing up its production line. By 2014, the program was $163 billion over budget seven years behind schedule. Critics also contend that the program's high sunk costs and political momentum make it too big to kill. Development F-35 development started in 1992 with the origins of the Joint Strike Fighter program and is set to culminate in full production in 2018. The X-35 first flew on October 24, 2000 and the F-35A on December 15, 2006. The F-35 was developed to replace most U.S. fighter jets with variants of one design common to all branches of the military. It was developed in cooperation with a number of foreign partners, and unlike the F-22 Raptor, intended to be available for export. Three variants were designed, the F-35A, conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, the F-35B, short takeoff and vertical landing, stuff low, and the F-35C, carrier-based Catobar. Despite being intended to share most of their parts to reduce costs and improve maintenance logistics, by 2017 the design commonality was only 20%. The program received considerable criticism for cost overruns during development and for the total projected cost of the program over the lifetime of the jets. By 2017 the program was expected over its lifetime, until 2070, to cost $406.5 billion for acquisition of the jets and $1.1 trillion for operations and maintenance. A number of design deficiencies were alleged, such as carrying a small internal payload, inferior performance to the aircraft being replaced particularly the F-16, and the lack of safety in relying on a single engine, and flaws were noted such as vulnerability of the fuel tank to fire and the propensity for transonic roll-off, TRO or wing drop. The possible obsolescence of stealth technology was also criticized. Design Overview the F-35 closely resembles a smaller, single-engine Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, drawing design elements from its twin-engine sibling.
The exhaust duct design was inspired by the General Dynamics Model 200, proposed for a 1972 supersonic VTOL fighter requirement for the sea control ship. Although several experimental designs have been developed since the 1960s, such as the unsuccessful Rockwell XFV-12, the F-35B is to be the first operational supersonic, Stofflo stealth fighter. Acquisition Deputy to the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, Lt. Gen. Mark D. Shack Shackelford has said that the F-35 is designed to be America's premier surface-to-air missile killer and is uniquely equipped for this mission with cutting-edge processing power, synthetic aperture radar integration techniques, and advanced target recognition. Lockheed Martin states the F-35 is intended to have close and long-range air-to-air capability second only to that of the F-22 Raptor. Lockheed Martin has said that the F-35 has the advantage over the F-22 in basing flexibility and advanced sensors and information fusion. Lockheed Martin has suggested that the F-35 could replace the U.S. Air Force F-15C-D fighters in the air superiority role and the F-15E Strike Eagle in the ground attack role. Some improvements over current generation fighter aircraft are Durable, low-maintenance stealth technology, using structural fiber mat instead of the high-maintenance coatings of legacy stealth platforms. Integrated avionics and sensor fusion that combine information from off- and on-board sensors to increase the pilot's situational awareness and improve target identification and weapon delivery, and to relay information quickly to other command and control C2, nodes. High-speed data networking including IEEE 1394B and Fiber Channel. Fiber Channel is also used on Boeing's Super Hornet. The Autonomic Logistics Global Sustainment, ALGS, Autonomic Logistics Information System, ALICE, and Computerized Maintenance Management System, CMMS, are to help ensure the aircraft can remain operational with minimal maintenance manpower. The Pentagon has moved to open up the competitive bidding by other companies. This was after Lockheed Martin stated that instead of costing 20% less than the F-16 per flight hour, the F-35 would actually cost 12% more. Though the ALGS is intended to reduce maintenance costs, the company disagrees with including the cost of this system in the aircraft ownership calculations. The USMC have implemented a workaround for a cyber vulnerability in the system. The ALICE system currently requires a shipping container load of servers to run, but Lockheed is working on a more portable version to support the Marine's expeditionary operations. Electrohydrostatic actuators run by a power-by-wire flight control system. A modern and updated flight simulator, which may be used for a greater fraction of pilot training in order to reduce the costly flight hours of the actual aircraft. Lightweight Powerful lithium-ion batteries to provide power to run the control surfaces in an emergency. Structural composites in the F-35 are 35% of the airframe weight, up from 25% in the F-22. The majority of these are bismalamide, BMI, and composite epoxy material. The F-35 will be the first mass-produced aircraft to include structural nanocomposites, namely carbon nanotube reinforced epoxy. Experience of the F-22S problems with corrosion led to the F-35 using a gap filler that causes less galvanic corrosion to the airframe's skin, designed with fewer gaps requiring filler and implementing better drainage. The relatively short 35-foot wingspan of the A and B variants is set by the F-35B's requirement to fit inside the Navy's current amphibious assault ship parking area and elevators, the F-35C's longer wing is considered to be more fuel efficient. A United States Navy study found that the F-35 will cost 30 to 40 percent more to maintain than current jet fighters, not accounting for inflation over the F-35's operational lifetime. A Pentagon study concluded a $1 trillion maintenance cost for the entire fleet over its lifespan, not accounting for inflation. The F-35 program office found that as of January 2014, costs for the F-35 fleet over a 53-year life cycle was $857 billion. Costs for the fighter have been dropping and accounted for the 22% life cycle drop since 2010. Lockheed stated that by 2019, pricing for the fifth-generation aircraft will be less than fourth-generation fighters. 
an F-35A in 2019 is expected to cost $85 million per unit complete with engines and full mission systems, inflation adjusted from $75 million in December 2013. Engines The Pratt & Whitney F-135 powers the F-35. An alternative engine, the General Electric slash Rolls-Royce F-136, was being developed until it was cancelled by its manufacturers in December 2011 for lack of funding from the Pentagon. The F-135 and F-136 engines are not designed to supercruise. However, the F-35 can briefly fly at Mach 1.2 for 150 miles without the use of an afterburner. The F-135 is the second, radar, stealthy afterburning jet engine. Like the Pratt and Whitney F-119 from which it was derived, the F-135 has suffered afterburner pressure pulsations, or screech at low altitude and high speed. The F-35 has a maximum speed of over Mach 1.6. With a maximum takeoff weight of 60,000 pounds, 27,000 kilograms, the Lightning II is considerably heavier than the lightweight fighters it replaces. The Stoflo F-35B is outfitted with the Rolls-Royce lift system, designed by Lockheed Martin and developed by Rolls-Royce. This system more resembles the German VJ-101D slashy than the preceding Stoflo Harrier jump jet and the Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine. The lift system is composed of a lift fan, drive shaft, two roll posts and a three-bearing swivel module, 3 BSM. The 3 BSM is a thrust vectoring nozzle which allows the main engine exhaust to be deflected downward at the tail of the aircraft. The lift fan is near the front of the aircraft and provides a counterbalancing thrust using two counter-rotating blisks. It is powered by the engine's low-pressure, LP, turbine via a drive shaft and gearbox. Roll control during slow flight is achieved by diverting unheated engine bypass air through wing-mounted thrust nozzles called roll posts. F-136 funding came at the expense of other program elements, impacting on unit costs. The F-136 team stated their engine had a greater temperature margin, potentially critical for VTOL operations in hot, high-altitude conditions. Pratt & Whitney tested higher thrust versions of the F-135, partly in response to GE's statements that the F-136 is capable of producing more thrust than the 43,000 lbf. 190 knots, of early F-135S. In testing, the F-135 has demonstrated a maximum thrust of over 50,000 lbf, 220 knots, making it the most powerful engine ever installed in a fighter aircraft as of 2010. It is much heavier than previous fighter engines, the heavy underway replenishment system needed to transfer the F-135 between ships is an unfunded USN requirement. Thermoelectric Powered Sensors Monitor Turbine Bearing Health At the end of May 2017 Pratt & Whitney announced the F-135 growth option 1 had finished testing and was available for production. The upgrade requires the changing of the power module on older engines and can be seamlessly inserted into future production engines at a minimal increase in unit cost and no impact to delivery schedule. The growth option 1 offers a improvement of 6-10% thrust across the F-35 flight envelope while also getting a 5-6% fuel burn reduction. Armament The F-35A is armed with a GAU 22-A, a four-barrel version of the 25mm GAU 12 equalizer cannon. The cannon is mounted internally with 182 rounds for the F-35A or in an external pod with 220 rounds for the F-35B and F-35C, the gun pod has stealth features. Software updates to enable operational firing of the cannon are expected to be completed by 2018. The F-35 has two internal weapons bays, and external hardpoints for mounting up to four underwing pylons and two near wingtip pylons. The two outer hardpoints can carry pylons for the AIM-9X Sidewinder and AIM-132 SRAM short-range air-to-air missiles, AAM, only. The other pylons can carry the AIM-120 AMROM BVR AAM, AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JAS, Cruise Missile, and Guided Bombs. The external pylons can carry missiles, bombs, and external fuel tanks at the expense of increased radar cross-section, and thus reduced stealth. 
there are a total of four weapons stations between the two internal bays. Two of these can carry air-to-surface missiles or bombs up to 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms, each in the A and C models, or air-to-surface missiles or bombs up to 1,000 pounds, 450 kilograms, each in the B model, the other two stations are for smaller weapons such as air-to-air -air missiles. The weapon bays can carry AIM-120 AMROM, AIM-132 ASRAM, the Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, Paveway Series of Bombs, the Joint Standoff Weapon, JSOW, Brimstone Anti-Tank Missiles, and Cluster Munitions, Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser. An air-to-air -air missile load of 8 AIM-120S and 2 AIM-9S is possible using internal and external weapons stations, a configuration of 6 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms, bombs, 2 AIM-120S and 2 AIM-9S can also be arranged. The Terma A-S Multi-Mission Pod, MMP, could be used for different equipment and purposes, such as electronic warfare, aerial reconnaissance or rear-facing tactical radar. The British Ministry of Defence plan to fire the select precision effects at range, spear, capability 3 missile from the internal bays of the F-35B, with 4 missiles per bay. Lockheed Martin states that the weapons load can be configured as all air-to-ground or all air-to-air, -air, and has suggested that a Block 5 version will carry 3 weapons per bay instead of 2, replacing the heavy bomb with 2 smaller weapons such as AIM-120 AMROM air-to-air -air missiles. Upgrades are to allow each weapons bay to carry 4 GBU-39 small diameter bombs, SDB, for A and C models, or 3 in F-35B. Another option is 4 GBU-53-B small diameter bomb IIS in each bay on all F-35 variants. The F-35A has been outfitted with 4 SDB-2 bombs and an AMROM missile to test adequate bay door clearance, as well as the C model but the Stoflow F-35B will not be able to carry the required load of 4 SDB IIS in each weapons bay upon reaching IOC because of weight and dimension constraints, F-35B bay changes are to be incorporated to increase SDB-2 loadout around 2022 in line with the Block 4 weapons suite. The Meteor air-to-air -air missile may be adapted for the F-35, a modified Meteor with smaller tail fins for the F-35 was revealed in September 2010. Plans call for the carriage of four meteors internally. The United Kingdom plan to use up to four AIM-132 ASRAM missiles internally, later plans call for the carriage of two internal and two external ASRAAMs. The external ASRAAMs are planned to be carried on stealthy pylons, the missile allows attacks to slightly beyond visual range without employing radar. Norway and Australia are funding an adaptation of the Naval Strike Missile, NSM, for the F-35. Under the designation Joint Strike Missile, JSM, it is to be the only cruise missile to fit the F-35S internal base, according to studies two JSMs can be carried internally with an additional four externally. The F-35 is expected to take on the Wild Weasel mission, though there are no planned anti-radiation missiles for internal carriage. The B-61 nuclear bomb was initially scheduled for deployment in 2017, as of 2012 it was expected to be in the early 2020s, and in 2014 Congress moved to cut funding for the needed weapons integration work. Norton A. Schwartz agreed with the move and said that F-35 investment dollars should realign to the long-range strike bomber. NATO partners who are buying the F-35 but cannot afford to make them dual-capable want the U.S. Air Force to fund the conversions to allow their Lightning IIS to carry thermonuclear weapons. The U.S. Air Force is trying to convince NATO partners who can afford the conversions to contribute to funding for those that cannot. The F-35 Block 4B will be able to carry two B-61 nuclear bombs internally by 2024. According to reports in 2002, solid-state lasers were being developed as optional weapons for the F-35. Lockheed is studying integrating a fiber laser onto the aircraft that uses spectral beam combining to channel energy from a stack of individual laser modules into a single, high-power beam, which can be scaled up or down for various levels of effects. Adding a laser would give the F-35 the ability to essentially burn missiles and other aircraft out of the sky.
The F-35 is also one of the target platforms for the high-speed strike weapon if hypersonic missile development is successful. The Air Force plans to use the F-35A to primarily take up the close air support CA, mission in contested environments. Amid criticism that the aircraft is not well suited for the role compared to a dedicated attack platform, Air Force Chief of Staff Mark Welsh is putting focus on weapons for the F-35 to employ on CA sorties including guided rockets, fragmentation rockets that would shatter into individual projectiles before impact, and lighter smaller ammunition in higher capacity gun pods. Fragmentary rocket warheads would have greater effects than cannon shells fired from a gun because a single rocket would create a thousand round burst, delivering more projectiles than a strafing run could. Other weapons could take advantage of the aircraft's helmet-mounted queuing system to aim rather than needing to point the nose at a target. Institute for the Study of Wars Christopher Harmer has questioned the use of such an expensive aircraft for CA. Stealth and Signatures Radar The F-35 has been designed to have a low radar cross-section that is primarily due to the shape of the aircraft and the use of stealthy, radar-absorbent materials in its construction, including fiber mat. Unlike the previous generation of fighters, the F-35 was designed for very low observable characteristics. Besides radar stealth measures, the F-35 incorporates infrared signature and visual signature reduction measures. The Fighter Teen series, F-14, F-15, F-16, F-A-18, carried large external fuel tanks, but to avoid negating its stealth characteristics the F-35 must fly most missions without them. Unlike the F-16 and F-A-18, the F-35 lacks leading-edge extensions and instead uses stealth-friendly chins for vortex lift in the same fashion as the State Route 71 Blackbird. The small bumps just forward of the engine air intakes form part of the diverterless supersonic inlet, DSI, which is a simpler, lighter means to ensure high-quality airflow to the engine over a wide range of conditions. These inlets also crucially improve the aircraft's very low observable characteristics by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. Additionally, the bump surface reduces the engine's exposure to radar, significantly reducing a strong source of radar reflection because they provide an additional shielding of engine fans against radar waves. The Y-duct-type air intake ramps also help in reducing radar cross-section RCS, because the intakes run parallel and not directly into the engine fans. The F-35S radar absorbent materials are designed to be more durable and less maintenance intensive than those of its predecessors. At optimal frequencies, the F-35 compares favorably to the F-22 in stealth, according to General Mike Hostage, commander of the Air Combat Command. Like other stealth fighters, however, the F-35 is more susceptible to detection by low-frequency radars because of the Rayleigh scattering resulting from the aircraft's physical size. However, such radars are also conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, and have low precision. Although fighter-sized stealth aircraft could be detected by low-frequency radar, missile lock and targeting sensors primarily operate in the X-band, which F-35 RCS reduction is made for so they cannot engage unless at close range. Because the aircraft's shape is important to the RCS, special care must be taken to match the boilerplate during production. Ground crews require repair verification radar, RVR, test sets to verify the RCS after performing repairs, which is not a concern for non-stealth aircraft. Acoustics In 2008, the Air Force revealed that the F-35 would be about twice as loud as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle at takeoff and up to four times as loud during landing. Residents near Luke Air Force Base, Arizona, and Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, possible F-35 bases, requested environmental impact studies be conducted regarding the F-35's noise levels. In 2009, the city of Valparaiso, Florida, adjacent to Eglin AFB, threatened to sue over the impending F-35 arrival, this lawsuit was settled in March 2010. In 2009, testing reportedly revealed the F-35 to be, only about as noisy as an F-16 fitted with a Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW200 engine, 
quieter than the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor and the Boeing F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. An acoustics study by Lockheed Martin and the Air Force found F-35S noise levels to be comparable to the F-22 and F-A-18E-F. A U.S. Air Force environmental impact study found that replacing F-16S with F-35S at Tucson International Airport would subject more than 21 times as many residents to extreme noise levels. The USN will need to redesign hearing protection for sailors to protect against the thundering 152 decibels of the F-35. The Joint Strike Fighter Program Office found in October 2014 that the F-35B's takeoff noise was only 2 decibels higher than a Super Hornet, a virtually indistinguishable difference to the human ear, and is even 10 decibels quieter when flying formations or landing. Cockpit the F-35 features a full panel with glass cockpit touchscreen panoramic cockpit display, PCD, with dimensions of 20 by 8 inches, 50 by 20 centimeters. A cockpit speech recognition system, DVI, provided by ADASL has been adopted on the F-35 and the aircraft will be the first operational U.S. fixed-wing aircraft to employ this DVI system although similar systems have been used on the AV-8B Harrier II and trialed in previous aircraft, such as the F-16 Vista. A helmet-mounted display system, HMDS, will be fitted to all models of the F-35. While some fighters have offered HMDS along with a head-up display, HUD, this will be the first time in several decades that a front-line fighter has been designed without a HUD. The F-35 is equipped with a right-hand HOTA's side stick controller. The Martin Baker US 16E ejection seat is used in all F 35 variants. The US 16E seat design balances major performance requirements, including safe terrain clearance limits, pilot load limits, and pilot size. It uses a twin catapult system housed inside rails. This industry standard ejection seat can cause the heavier than usual helmet to inflict serious injury on lightweight pilots. The F-35 employs an oxygen system derived from the F-22S own system, which has been involved in multiple hypoxia incidents on that aircraft. Unlike the F-22, the flight profile of the F-35 is similar to other fighters that routinely use such systems. On June 9, 2017, the 55 F-35S at Luke Air Force Base were grounded after five pilots complained of hypoxia-like symptoms over a five-week span symptoms ranged from dizziness to tingling in their extremities. The suspension was initially expected to last one day, but was extended to give investigators more time. Flying was resumed on June 20, with no direct cause having been found. Sensors and Avionics the F-35S sensor and communications suite has situational awareness, command, and control and network-centric warfare capabilities. The main sensor on board is the IN-APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, designed by Northrop Grumman Electronic Systems. It is augmented by the nose-mounted Electro-Optical Targeting System, EOTS, it provides the capabilities of an externally mounted sniper advanced targeting pod with a reduced radar cross section. The in slash ASQ 239, Barracuda, system is an improved version of the F 22S in slash ALR 94 electronic warfare suite, providing sensor fusion of radio frequency and infrared tracking functions, advanced radar warning receiver, including geolocation targeting of threats multispectral image countermeasures for self-defense against missiles, situational awareness and electronic surveillance, employing 10 radio frequency antennae embedded into the edges of the wing and tail. In September 2015, Lockheed unveiled the advanced EOTS that offers shortwave infrared, high-definition television, infrared marker and superior image detector resolution capabilities. Offered for the Block 4 configuration, it fits into the same area as the baseline EOTS with minimal changes while preserving stealth features. Six additional passive infrared sensors are distributed over the aircraft as part of Northrop Grumman's Electro-Optical and Slash AAQ-37 Distributed Aperture System, DOS, which acts as a missile warning system, reports missile launch locations, detects and tracks approaching aircraft spherically around the F-35, and replaces traditional night vision devices. All DOS functions are performed simultaneously, 
in every direction, at all times. The electronic warfare systems are designed by B-Systems and include Northrop Grumman components. Functions such as the electro-optical targeting system and the electronic warfare system are not usually integrated on fighters. The F-35S DOS is so sensitive, it reportedly detected the launch of an air-to-air -air missile in a training exercise from 1,200 miles, 1,900 kilometers, away which in combat would give away the location of an enemy aircraft even if it had a very low radar cross-section. The Communications, Navigation and Identification CNI, suite is designed by Northrop Grumman and includes the Multifunction Advanced Data Link MADL, as one of a half-dozen different physical links. The F-35 will be the first fighter with sensor fusion that combines radio frequency and IR tracking for continuous all-direction target detection and identification which is shared via MADL to other platforms without compromising low observability. Link 16 is also included for communication with legacy systems. The F-35 has been designed with synergy between sensors as a specific requirement, the aircraft's senses being expected to provide a more cohesive picture of the battle space around it and be available for use in any possible way in combination with one another, for example, the IN-APG-81 multi-mode radar also acts as a part of the electronic warfare system. The Program Executive Officer, PEO, General Bogdan has described the sensor fusion software as one of the most difficult parts of the program. Much of the F-35S software is written in C and C++ because of programmer availability, ADAA3 code also is reused from the F-22. The Integrity Do-178B Real-Time Operating System, RTOS, from Green Hills Software runs on COTS Freescale Power PC processors. The final Block 3 software is planned to have 8.6 million lines of code. In 2010, Pentagon officials discovered that additional software may be needed. General Norton Schwartz has said that the software is the biggest factor that might delay the U.S. Air Force's initial operational capability. In 2011, Michael Gilmore, Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, wrote that, the F-35 mission system software development and test is tending towards familiar historical patterns of extended development, discovery in flight test, and deferrals to later increments. The electronic warfare and electro-optical systems are intended to detect and scan aircraft, allowing engagement or evasion of a hostile aircraft prior to being detected. The Catbird avionics testbed aircraft has proved capable of detecting and jamming radars, including the F-22S and slash APG-77. The F-35 was previously considered a platform for the next generation jammer, attention shifted to using unmanned aircraft in this capacity instead. Several subsystems use Silinx FPGAs, these COTS components enable supply refreshes from the commercial sector and fleet software upgrades for the software-defined radio systems. Lockheed Martin's Dave Scott stated that sensor fusion boosts engine thrust and oil efficiency, increasing the aircraft's range. Air Force official Ellen M. Polakowski has proposed using the F-35 to control and coordinate multiple unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs. Using its sensors and communications equipment, a single F-35 could orchestrate an attack made by up to 20 armed UCAVs. Helmet-mounted display system The F-35 does not need to be physically pointing at its target for weapons to be successful. Sensors can track and target a nearby aircraft from any orientation, provide the information to the pilot through their helmet, and therefore visible no matter which way the pilot is looking, and provide the seeker head of a missile with sufficient information. Recent missile types provide a much greater ability to pursue a target regardless of the launch orientation, called high off sight capability. Sensors use combined radio frequency and infrared, SERST to continually track nearby aircraft while the pilot's helmet-mounted display system, HMDS, displays and selects targets, the helmet system replaces the display suite-mounted head-up display used in earlier fighters. Each helmet costs $400,000. The F-35S systems provide the edge in the observe, orient, decide, and act OODA loop, stealth and advanced sensors aid in observation, while being difficult to observe, automated target tracking helps in orientation, 
sensor fusion simplifies decision making, and the aircraft's controls allow the pilot to keep their focus on the targets, rather than the controls of their aircraft. Problem. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.